everyone ciao to everyone happy saturday to everyone <laughs> i'm cooking on saturday i got <laughs> saturday evening instead of going out cooking it's okay <laughs> ciao 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 whoever you are welcome in this directa <laughs> can you write it i could have I check the volume the volume one second should be completely up please write it if you are able to hear ciao 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 water is already boiling <laughs> today we make like we can we make magician like the witches <laughs> Robert, ciao! <laughs> we see us next week uh, if possible. Ciao Letta, ciao Jennifer. Ciao Jennifer. My super friend. <laughs> ciao Jerry. <laughs> okay, I think we can start. I set one second the video on the on the PC. So I can see. Jackie, yes, you can hear me. Thank you. Okay, so we start. Uh, there are different steps, uh, and some of them I've already done, of course. So, first of all, wait, uh, I move this water. First of all, I want to show you which are the vegetables that I'm going to use. Um, this is of course up to you okay the vegetables that you like most and anyway i'm using the one that are available now in this season so i'm using zucchini carrots cauliflower and then i have here i show you just a few because I have already cooked them for the second steps. These are eggplants. These are cut in small, in say in uh, uh, the size is about half a centimeter, between half a centimeter and six uh, millimeters. Mm -hmm. And they were draining the water since this morning. Okay, i show you, you can see the water. Here is the washer that the eggplants has made. Today we want uh, food cooking. <laughs> Ciao, muk tiar. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> so, this I have already prepared. And this one, look, this is a carrot cut in four pieces. I like this, uh, uh, let's say, all the vegetables under oil. I like them, uh, first of all, crunchy, and secondly, not so, so small, not so thin. So that's why I cut it. This is a carrot cut it in four, okay? So, for instance, okay, this is a, a quite big carrot. I've cut it this way and then this way, okay? and then I cut it this way. Then the cauliflower, then I will show you then how to use. So we have to boil them first in water and vinegar. One thing very, very, very important. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, for giardiniera, this kind of giardiniera, to eat it in uh, let's say 10 days but you have to eat it maximum within 20 days 25 days okay because i'm not i'm not going to reboil it again hmm? if you want something that lasts more i will tell you then at uh, the end of the video how to do okay so first of all i need uh, to uh, boil the vegetables in water and vinegar so Let's start. 
I put you, let's see, down. I Ciao Loreli, ciao. So water is boiling. Now I add the vinegar. Not so much because I don't like uh, when they are too much um, strong, let's say too much, uh, the, the, the taste so much vinegar. So I put, let's say in two liters, I put uh, three, four hundred milligrams of vinegars. Okay, so even if now we have to wait two minutes, <laughs> but I wanted to show you. If you want something that lasts, let's say, longer, you have to, um, let's say, grow the quantity of vinegar or substitute the water with the wine, white wine. So make a white wine and vinegar. Um, but I prefer this and I prefer to do it, let's say, two or three jars every, <laughs> let's say, two or three weeks and have something that is not so strong as vinegar, but still, uh, Still good. I made your cantucci this morning. Okay, Anna Marie. <laughs> yeah, ciao Bianca, ciao. <laughs> so, I put you down. I, as I said to you before, I want uh, the vegetable crunchy under my teeth. So, I will not cook them uh, so much. First of all, of course, you know that the vegetables have different time of cooking. So, first of all, we will start with the carrots, okay? So we put the carrots and we boil them for, let's say, eight to 10 minutes. Then step by step, we add also the other vegetables. We can also add the lovely eggplants, okay? Together with the carrots. This has been under salt and pressed since this morning. And now in the meantime, you can make your questions because we have to wait that it boils a little bit. <laughs> so we have to be patient today. There are steps to um, respect. Ciao Silvana, I check here. Ciao Kimberly, Ciao. thank you so much for watching me cooking. <laughs> so. How is your Saturday? How will be your Sunday? Are you free now? Is in your country okay to travel everywhere? The big news is Austria has open, is opening the border on Monday. So now we are able to go, let's see, almost every part of Europe. So, and uh, I know that airports are already open, also in Milano. So, ciao Maria! <laughs> ciao! <laughs> Ciao Zuzza. That, uh, one day <laughs> you have to let me know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> Bianca, yeah, festa. <laughs> festa, festa. <laughs> Francesca, yes. Maria, I saw that before you have, you have written Francesca. Doesn't mean it. <laughs> it's always me, I know. <laughs> So, in the meantime, I'll show you how to, to cut the uh, cauliflower. Wait, I check if there is a So how I cut, as you have seen from the picture, is uh, from the picture that I posted, the cauliflower has the complete, uh, let's say, shape. So I cut in this way, for instance, this. And I cut like a, um, a slice of cauliflower. Okay. So 
so that must be quite thin to cook uh, in a few minutes okay so that's what that's how I prepare the cauliflower for instance this, this is completely round I cut into this way and then also another time this way Okay, I, I leave it big, quite big, okay? So, I can, look, you can leave this in this way, or you can cut also in the middle, as you like. Okay. For instance, this one that are quite small, you can leave it in this way, it's also nice. You leave it completely in this way. Hmm? So, now we can add the cauliflower because it, the vegetable doesn't have to boil so much, just a few minutes. Also because when the vinegar goes inside, they will continue to cook also a little bit. So just uh, to let them, let's say, uh, give, uh, let's say, something to maintain. Hmm? So, I put it down. So now we put the cauliflower. Because before eat them, you have to wait one week. So when it starts boil properly, we put the zucchini. Also the zucchini, look, I show you a very Let's see, zucchini. I've been cutting in this way and then this way, and then in three parts. This it's very, very, very quick. In the meantime, ciao Tina, ciao Joanne. I miss the beginning, what is also in the boiling water beside carrots, beside carrots, okay. Eggplants uh, that have been previously draining the whole day from let's say it's on water, they were under salt and pressed and cut it, uh, let's say, in small, longer stripes. Carrots, cauliflower, zucchini. Okay, you can put zucchini. And now we need uh, just a few minutes and it's ready. Okay, Jackie was, was replying. Thank you so much. In the meantime, I want to show you that I have, of course, already prepared this because they have to cool a little bit and they have to dry on a kitchen cloth. What are you making? Uh, Eddie, I'm making, I think is a jardiniera also in your place, but anyway, they are uh, vegetables cooked in vinegar and then, uh, let's say, maintain it inside of the oil and you can eat with the meat uh, alone, uh, as a snack, uh, so many, so many, in so many ways. So, just to show you, these are boil it in this way and then close it in a kitchen 
clothes, okay? And so they have to, to dry. Look, I love the colors. It's completely whitish because of the vinegar. Vinegar is, is making all of this. <laughs> Look. Thank you, Francesca. Hello from, ciao Dave. Uh, oh, very nice, Eddie, yes. <laughs> they are nice. So we wait two minutes that we also do the same job uh, to these vegetables and then they can sleep uh, for let's say half hour. And so they can uh, drain and take, uh, let's say to absorb uh, the water, the additional water. So this is ready to put our vegetables. Peperoncini, would you boil that? No, 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 no. Pe po pe por <laughs> peporcini. Peporcini could be peperoncini or porcini. <laughs> Sometimes it's so funny. <laughs> so, peporcini could be peperoncini, that is the chili, or could be porcini, that is the mushroom. Pe so peperoncini, anyway, um, peperoncino, like, like this you mean? Okay, this is in, uh, is, is uh, dried, but the fresh one, any case, no, no. Then I will show you how to put it in the jar. The peppers, peppers. bell peppers, yes. Every vegetable must be boiled, not so much. Peppers, I think the same. You have to put them uh, um, after the carrot, but before the cauliflower. So let's say the in the middle, <laughs> as the step to go inside of the, of the, of the washer to boil. No, the green peppers, green peppers. Okay, the, the green ones, little green peppers, not green bell peppers. Okay, so the small one that they are very, very, very spicy. This one, you don't have to cook. No, you, don't, you have to add in the jar at the end. Thank you so much for this fun. <laughs> because many things are also new for me because uh, you use uh, some, some uh, things that I, I, I don't know them. So I'm talking about yellow pepper is in the vinegar. Are you okay. Okay, this is a reply to Jerry. So they are talking about them, uh, each other. <laughs> so, okay. It's ready, we drain. It's ready and we drain. First of all, here. You have to drain very much. Give it space. Take something, take a container that you can put them, uh, let's say, nicely, not one on another. Okay, this we can remove. So, and now you just cover and you press a little bit. Okay, so the tablecloth will absorb the, the water, the liquid in the case. I put another one. 
And so this stay for one hour, okay? So now we have our lovely vegetables ready in this case. Hmm? So we take a bowl and we put them inside. So now we season them, a bit of salt, garlic, if you like, of course, the seasoning is up to you upon your taste. I like in this way, so garlic, oregano, not so much, this is fresh dry, uh, dried oregano, pepper, and this is fennel. I like in this way, this, this uh, let's say, uh, mixture. Let me take extra virgin olive oil I tell you, it's also good in this way directly. <laughs> so a little bit more. And we mix. Mm. <laughs> so this is extra virgin olive oil. jar that is of course previously sterilized okay I have put the jar and the cover inside of water and boiling for 15 minutes okay so and we put inside our vegetables this. you have to let's see to uh, position them inside, okay? In a way that you can see nicely also from outside. Now it's not up, okay? But I start to put the, this is some flower oil. So you move around in a way that the oil goes down and then you press again your vegetables and then you continue What a smell! <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. I love this smell. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let you go in there. I take a little bit of the season in the bottom. Mm -hmm.
think another one. Okay. One small carrot and a small cup from. And you pour again the oil, some flour oil. So now I give you a secret that Anna, do you remember Anna from uh, Pian Dark House in which we were making the saltimbocca alla romana? So she teached me to leave, uh, let's say, this open, let's say not close it, you put it on in this way, just not closing, and tomorrow morning, let's say during the night, the oil will go down, yeah, and if you need much more oil, you do it, you pour a little bit more of oil, okay, because in the meantime, the oil will go in the side and will go to cover all the small holes between the vegetables. Okay, so if you need oil then, you, you add. So just, uh, just to show you it. So. So, and this is what, uh, so tomorrow I will pour again oil if it needs. The vegetables must be, must stay under oil okay and and yeah then you can leave it in the fridge and uh, start you can eat also tomorrow also now you can eat but this season has to enter in the vegetables okay so it will be good to eat in one week and then you have to finish within 20 days okay because there are not so much vinegar if you want this stays longer hmm? you don't put in the fridge but you boil this you put this you close it you put in a uh, uh, in a bowl with water you cover with water you put some cloth around and you let it boil 15 minutes and then you check if, it, if it's vacuum if it's vacuum it's ready otherwise you continue to boil till it's vacuum and then you can eat also in six months. <laughs> All right, for vegetable Jenny, I know that you love them. <laughs> so this is the lovely uh, giardiniera. Vegetables under oil. I love them. Do you think it tastes good with some Parmigiano cheese? And so absolutely, yes. In summer with everything, with pecorino cheese. With pecorino cheese is better. And bread, of course, Tuscan bread, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> Kimberly, thank to you for watching the video. So this is the, it's quite easy, even if we have make it longer, of course, as always, but it's quite fast and uh, you have to take attention to the um, time of the vegetables that you choose to put inside. You can also put just, uh, uh, just one of these, it's okay. It's up um, fantasy. <laughs> Joanne, yes, it's true. <laughs> Everything is better with pecorino cheese. What kind of vegetables? We have zucchini, eggplants, carrots, and cauliflower. <laughs> oh, Tina, send me. If you have any question, please write it down. And we see us. Ciao!